Shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Rega Be'ivrit. This Shabbat, we are in Parashat Be'alotecha. And I'm excited to talk about a relevant topic today. You know that the Bible has to say a lot about racism. We are in a time that in the world, and specifically here in the United States of America, issue of race are being surfaced up. What does the Bible have to say on the topic of racism? In this Torah portion this week, we are reading about the great punishment of Miriam. Now, we have to understand something about Miriam here. Miriam considered in Judaism to the same level, to the same spiritual aptitude as Moses and Aaron. She is the mother of all the Neviot. But as we can see here in the text, something supernatural happened with Miriam as she got punished. Let's see what took place. Chapter 12, verse 1. But the Daber Miriam ve Aaron ve Moshe al odot a isha a kushit. Asher lakach ki isha kushit lakach. I want to focus on this verse. Now, the scene of Miriam was the sin that she spoke against Zipporah, the wife of Moshe Rabbeinu. She spoke against him. But is that the reason that she was smitten as she was? I don't believe so. Look at what it says here in the text. And Miriam the Aaron be Moshe. Notice here that it says that the bear Miriam the Aaron be Moshe. It doesn't say al Moshe, it says Be Moshe. The bet before Moshe means that she spoke into the inner being. She hurted Moses in his most inner being. Be Moshe, not Al Moshe. So she has done something that hurt her own brother in its very, very core. And here we see the text every time, brothers and sisters, that we see a word in the Torah mentioned twice in a row, almost twice in a row, the Torah tried to get our attention. And what he said, Bemoshe al Odot about Aisha, the woman, Hakushi. Well, if it would stop and say she spoke about the woman, it will be one thing. But since she spoke about the black woman, the black woman, which is a shocking to some of you to know that, but Moshe Rabbeinu has married a black woman. The Hebrew word kushit comes from the word kush. Kush is where today Ethiopia and Zambia and Zimbabwe, all of those regions is known by the name Kush, Kushi. That is Asher Lakach, and then it says again, Ki Aisha Kushit Lakach, because Moses has taken upon itself a black woman. You see, the Torah is mentioning here twice, twice, twice again to tell us that that she was a black woman and the real issue, the real problem that that Miriam had with Sipora is the color of her skin. I want you to explain and understand something here. That the Bible does not distinct and differentiate between color of skin. And here Miriam was Punish upon all of this. Double Lashon Hara, it says here, seven days she was outside the camp. And, and this is important because that is led into the 12 spies, the issue of the 12 spies that obviously impacted all of Israel. What was the issue of 12 spies? They spoke against the land, the sin of the speech. What was the sins of Miriam? The sins of the speech. The Bible does not permit anybody to speak against colors, ethnicity, or race. Let us take race out of the equation when we are dealing with one another. That, friend, 
is Torah 101. Shalom everybody, this is this week, Rega Devri.